Welcome to XXLRC. Today we're talking about a truck that has become very popular in the RC community over the last year or so. I'm sure you've seen it on Facebook or in some of the community forums for RC groups. And this is the Sen Racing F450. Awesome, awesome truck. I remember when they first announced this, I was like, I gotta get one. So I, I ordered one as soon as they were available for pre-order. Um, I've had mine for a little over a year now, and uh, it's a fantastic truck. This is just about the way that it comes. Um, I've done a couple little modifications to mine. I've got the spiked wheel lugs. You can get those from Sen. I also put a locker in the back because it does have open diffs, so um, it doesn't crawl great. And that's the interesting thing about this truck is that it doesn't really fit any specific, you know, RC genre, if you will. It's not a crawler. It's, it's. I guess it could be considered a, a trail truck, but um, you can actually drift with this thing because the tires are kind of hard on it. But uh, it, I just thought it was super cool. Like, I just like to look at it, really. Um, but there's tons of modifications that you can do with it and to it. Um, another thing that I, I found on Thingiverse was these uh, steps. They look just like the factory Ford steps. And it comes with a little, um, like a little tray to kind of make the floor pan. Um, but... Super cool little details. I just love the scale look of this. I ended up picking up another one of these. Actually, I have three of them. Um, a lot of people are doing modifications to them. There's uh, People are lowering them. People are lifting them. I, I do have a, a lifted one that I'll show you here in a minute. So let me grab that lifted one and I'll be right back. This is the second uh, Sen Racing F450 that I picked up. And I, you know, originally, I really wanted the gray one with the red wheels, thought it looked awesome. But then people started posting pictures of the blue one with the silver wheels. And, man, that blue just looks so different once you get it under a light. It looks really dark in the pictures that Sen had on their site. But when that light hits it, like right in here, you can see how light it is. It's really got some, some nice metal flake to it. And I, I just... Had to get one. Now, I didn't want two trucks that were identical to each other. So I started doing some modifications to this. And uh, as you can see, I've got quite a few modifications done to it. I found there's a guy in the F450 group on Facebook. His name is James Bailey. He runs Crawlers and Customs. On, uh, I think he's on Etsy and I think he may have his own website now, but he makes a, a lift kit as you can see under here It's a CNC for crawlers and customs. It's all 3d printed stuff and it is absolutely Fantastic and James is a great guy. I, I actually messaged him because I had some questions He's got awesome customer service, always willing to help. He's very active in the Facebook groups. So if you're looking for a lift kit for your truck, that's the place to go. I'll put a link in the description. The Crawlers and Customs lift kit comes with the, the main part of the lift here, which is just like a frame extension. And then there's also some adapters, uh, 3D printed parts for the uh, front servo and pan hard bar and the rear there's like a drop bracket for the rear pan hard as well. Um, that way, the geometry of everything, your whole drive line, stays the same as stock while also lifting the truck up. I also added some 90 millimeter shocks to just give it a little bit more because these I got these um, J Concepts King Fling tires and it it was. They were rubbing just a little bit, so I wanted to go a little bit higher. I think the stock shocks are like 78 or 80 millimeters. It just gives you a little bit more clearance for those bigger tires. It came with the silver American Force wheels, and I changed them out for the chrome ones. I thought the chrome looked so much better with that blue. And these tires just fit perfect on there. They're a 2.6 tire, and those are 2.6 rims, so they fit perfect. I did have... 
couple issues in the back. I'm not running the uh, sway bar in the back because it was rubbing against the tires. And I think I could space them out a little bit. Um, the, the wheel hubs in the front are thicker. I could probably get some of those for the back, but I didn't want the tires sticking out too far. I mean, they already stick out pretty far. So I, I decided just to take off the sway bar and I, it, you know, it still, it handles okay still. So no big deal. I also upgraded all the links to the chaos links. Those are the upgraded Sen aluminum CNC links. And I also put the locker in the rear end of this one. Let me flip this around real quick and we'll take a look at the, the back end of this one. As you can see, I got the trailer hitch on there. I also have a, um, the rear diff cover looks pretty cool. And you can see that, that bracket up there. Well, maybe you can't, let me get you a little closer. You can see that drop bracket for the pan hard bar and those chaos links in there. But you can see how close those tires are to the <laughs> to the shocks. But it, it works. You know, it's it's a pretty fun truck. And uh get a lot of comments on it, you know. You don't see a whole ton of them like this, although you're starting to see more of them now. In addition to the chrome American Force wheels, I also added the chrome spike lug nuts. I really think it sets it off. Such a such a cool little add-on that you know no other RC company had come up with until Sen you know, started putting these things out. So, but I just love the stance of this thing. Look at how tall it is. It, it's it's just amazing. It's it's like a monster truck, but really scale. This is <laughs> you saw my Florida plate on the back. This is definitely a Florida truck. You see stuff like that down here all the time. All right, enough about this truck. I'm gonna grab. The third one that I I purchased, it, this was a, a used truck. It, it actually belonged to a friend of mine. He had gotten the same gray and red one that I got. And then um, he ended up selling it to another guy that he drag races with. And uh, then that guy had it up for sale and I saw it. I'm like, yeah, that's a pretty good deal. I could use another one. Why not? <laughs> What's better than two? Three, right? So I... I got this truck from him and, you know, it had been pretty well used. The, the wheels were a little scratched up. Uh, there was some damage on the body. So that kind of gave me an idea of what I wanted to do with this truck. Now, I've, I've already done quite a bit of work to it. I, I kind of wish that I would have filmed it, but I didn't. So we're kind of jumping into this one in the middle, but I've still got a lot more work that I want to do to it. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. Okay, here she is. This is the beast. And like I said, I've, I've already done quite a bit of work to it, but I wanted to share this with everybody. And, uh, I, I still have, Quite a bit of things that I want to do to it to kind of finish it up. Um, it's, it's something you don't really see a whole lot. You know, this, this truck looks so clean coming out of the box. And it is just perfect. Like, you don't want to mess up that body. But I thought, what the heck? Why don't we just go for it? I built some uh, armor panels for the doors, for the windows. And then I just did, like, some little slots there. You know, this thing, like, it's like a Mad Max build, like post-apocalyptic. This thing looks like it's been through a war zone and pretty happy with it. I think I want to do some more rust. Like, I kind of wanted to do it a little spotty there, but I'm just not sure about it. So I think I want to just completely rust out those panels. And um, I, I actually, I printed some more body armor. I got these pieces here that are, you know, it's just like a, an armor plate with a bunch of bolts in it. So I think I'm going to do those like on the doors. And then I got some smaller ones that I think will fit good on the back doors. Just to add a little extra, maybe we'll do some rust on there as well. I also, 
You know, it's got these big, huge fenders that stick out in the back. And I wanted to, you know, just kind of dress those up a little bit too. So I printed these, these little armor panels that I think will fit. Oh, where, no, maybe did those on the back. They fit pretty good in there. And then I've got these, these other smaller, like rectangular ones that I think I'll put maybe here, you know, and we'll just rust those up. I've got... I think I'm going to do one on the back as well. Just a little extra detail on there. I think it's going to look look really good when it's once it's all done. Some other little details that I did on this thing. I I created a, an armor panel for the uh, where the sunroof. It's got that dual panel sunroof like the Fords have. Um, did an armor panel up there. And I put a little hatch, and there's a double machine gun up here. Just lots of fun little details. The hood's got two machine guns. And then the uh, windshield's got the armor panels as well. I also came across uh, another seller. Uh, they sell on eBay, Etsy, and I believe they have a website too. It's Shaka Hobbies, and they make these... 3D printed bumpers, really, really nice quality stuff and good prices too. So I got this front, it's kind of like a ranch hand style bumper. And there's even a, a fair lead here. If you want to add a winch, there's some uh, structure to the back where you could mount a winch to it. And some other things that I got from Shaka Hobbies. I got the rear bumper, same kind of style as the front one. Got these little D-rings on there if you want to put some chains on or whatever. It's got a little receiver hitch. These things are solid. Really quality prints. Nice and smooth and I'm, I'm super happy with, with how those turned out. I got these uh, smokestacks. Oh, that one's kind of turned. And there's a headache rack back here with uh, working LED lights in there. I just got to wire them up. There's an auxiliary fuel tank, and look at this. <laughs> it actually has the little fuel hose on there. It, it's all about the details when it comes to build like this. And then there's a, a toolbox as well, and this thing actually opens. It's got little magnets in it, so it locks down. Really, really nice stuff from Shaka Hobbies. I'll put a link to their store in the, uh, in the description as well if you want to check them out. And last but certainly not least, I did switch out the wheels. Uh, the ones that were on here were the red ones. They were kind of faded and a little scraped up and stuff. So I got the all black American Force with the black spikes. Love it. And then I got these, they're kind of no name tires that I got off of Amazon, super cheap. They're a, uh, they're a 2.2 inch tire, so they're stretched down to these 2.6 inch wheels. Not, not hard to do at all. They, it took minimal effort, but I think they fit this build really well. Um, they kind of resemble the, the Nitto mud grappler tires. And, uh, I, I think they, <laughs> I think they just really, really go with the theme here super aggressive mud tire the way they poke out in the back there it's i just love it and i i did have a little bit of clearance issue i mean you can see in the back i still do a little bit here if you're maxing out the suspension which you know i don't think i'm going to be doing much crawling with this thing it's more of a show off you know, maybe trail truck type build. Maybe I'll trim that out. I don't know. Have to run it, see how it works. But I did upgrade the shocks on it as well. These are, uh, I think they're a 90 or 100 millimeter shock. They're uh, just cheap Amazon shocks. They have a little fake reservoir on them. Those don't do anything other than, you know, just for looks. But other than that, the whole chassis is stock. 
and uh, it's it seems to run okay like that. I think that's probably about as big as you can go on shocks before you start having binding issues on the on the drive line. I think to finish this thing off, I want to do some more of the rust patina. I want to put these armor plates on and rust them up. I, this one is actually for the hood. I figure out placement on that. I felt like the hood just needed something a little extra. And then got those ones for the sides. I may print out more of them. Who knows? This is just kind of a fun, you know, <laughs> do whatever kind of build. The body was already screwed up, so I mean, I can't make it any worse. And if I do, I'll just get a new body. No big deal. This is what the hobby is all about, is being creative and, you know, just, just let that creativity take you wherever. And it, look at the things that you can create. I haven't seen another truck like this, and I think that's awesome. I love having something that, you know, is unique and, and everybody goes, wow, look at all the work that went into that. And, and it, I really, really enjoy doing this and I hope you guys do too. Now that you've seen what I've done with my three trucks, let me know in the comments down below what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm going to be doing some more work on this Mad Max post-apocalyptic build. So be on the lookout for a video coming out on that real soon. If you guys did like this video, Make sure to hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe so you don't miss any new content coming your way. And I will see you guys in the next video.